What I miss, of course I miss my house in Tarusa, uh, my friends, I miss graves, language. I took almost nothing actually. Uh, uh, you know, some, some clothes, I, I, I didn't take much. A few books, photographs, clothes, laptop, you know, <laughs> this kind of thing, pipe. All these discussions about Russophobic, non-Russophobic, doesn't make sense uh, until the war is, is stopped. Uh, the place where you are dislike, dis being disliked most is Moscow. So there is, most Russophobia is going on in Russia because the true Russian virtues are being neglected, they're being destroyed. I mean, uh, all of a the sudden they said uh, on the banners, we are not ashamed. This is, you know, really Russophobic to say that in Russian because all Russian culture, all Russian, you know, uh, intelligence, uh, you know, intelligence would, would, has always been ashamed of something. And, and to say we are not ashamed, you know, killing people, saying we are not ashamed, it's a pure fascist uh, slogan. My stories are for, for adult people, you know, and adults uh, very often, they, they don't want and they don't need exact answers. At age of 15, you want answers to certain questions, right? But later on, uh, questions are more interesting than, than answers to these questions. So my, my stories give more, more questions than answers, I think. Well, I, I, since I left Russia, I didn't have much chances to talk to people on what's going on. I know a friend of mine told me recently that uh, she has uh, uh, a friend, a uh, you know, young lady who lives in Kiev, and he was calling to her mother in St. Petersburg uh, saying, Mom, uh, they are bombing us. We, we have to go to the shelter. And uh, mother said, no, I'm watching television. They say they attack only military objects. So even this, I mean, not to believe her daughter, even this happens because of propaganda, of course.